Hey everybody, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and this is gonna be my topical overview of the Stainless Power 1 and 7 8 inch catted long tube headers available for all 2008 and newer Hemi Challengers. Now you should be checking out a set of the Stainless Power catted long tubes if you're looking to increase both the sound and power of your Hemi and wanna grab something that will offer premium materials and build but at a somewhat affordable price point when compared to some of the other heavy hitters in the category. Now, in talking features here with long tube headers, two biggies should be on the front of mind for most Hemi owners out there, power and sound. Now, that's certainly an expectation you should have when looking into a set of aftermarket long tubes, and rightly so, as more times than not, adding a set of long tubes certainly results in a pretty solid amount of both. Now, in regards to power, well, that will, of course, depend on a lot of different variables, such as corresponding or existing modifications, tune, of course, and conditions, but I would say anywhere from 10 to 20 wheel isn't out of the question when adding something like this. Now, aside from power, Challenger owners can also expect a big time increase in sound with your stock or aftermarket ex exhaust after the installation of a long tube has been complete. Now, before we get into construction, I do want to point out, guys, that even though a tune will certainly help maximize your gains here, it is not required in order to run a stainless power long tube. Now, let's move into construction. And one thing I do want to point out, guys, is that for those unfamiliar, stainless power is basically a subsidiary of Stainless Works. Now, Stainless Works is a killer header company manufactured here in the USA. Stainless Power, on the other hand, incorporates a lot of the awesome build quality and design of the Stainless Works headers, but because their headers are manufactured overseas, they're going to enjoy a pretty hefty discount compared to their American-made counterparts. Now, with that being said, guys, first glance, if you were to have two on the table here, one from Stainless Works, one from Stainless Power, I guarantee you, you'd be very hard pressed to find the difference between the two. Now, with that being said, you are still going to be finding things like a TIG welded 304 grade stainless construction throughout. In this case, you are looking at the Mandrel Bent 1 and 7 8 inch primaries here, making these, again, a great choice for both naturally aspirated or forced induction applications. Now that stainless steel material does find its way into things like your 3 8 inch laser cut flange here on the head side, in addition to O2 bungs, and also really nice welds throughout. Again, I know I mentioned these are an overseas made product, but that certainly does not change the fact that the welds are very, very nice, very, very close to what you might find on the stainless works options, not only at the collector, but also at the, um, the 3 8 flange here at the head side. Nice penetration, nothing to smooth out, nothing to deburr. Everything is very, very solid. Uh, these headers as well, much like their more expensive counterparts, feature what Stainless Works calls their Venturi style merge spike here in the collector. If you're to look into that three inch collector, you will find a Venturi spike and that's there to help increase exhaust scavenging and overall flow. Now with this particular set of headers, again, they do include a pair of high flow cats with a ceramic substrate material inside. A couple final points here again, guys, these headers do not require the use of any tuning. I just wanna point that out. Always recommended, of course, to get the most out of your setup in general, but certainly not required. Last but not least, Stainless Power does receive or does give each set of headers their 24 month warranty on both workmanship and materials. That's the only thing that might be a little bit different from the actual Stainless Works products. Typically those all come with a lifetime warranty. So again, some subtle differences between the two. Getting into our price point here, guys, and that's where the Stainless Power headers will really shine in comparison with some of your more expensive options on the site, including those Stainless Works headers that we've been mentioning throughout. These headers, Stainless Power, you're looking mid to high $1,500 mark, give or take. That's gonna be about six to 700 bucks more affordable compared to the sister company Stainless Works options. Again, you're looking at essentially the same materials, same exact design, really, really solid welds. Your big differences will be location and manufacturing, along with that two-year warranty for the Stainless Power options here, as opposed to that lifetime warranty with the Stainless Works header. So just a couple things there to keep in mind. 
All right, long tube installation here, guys. We're not gonna have a step-by-step -step breakdown for you. Just keep in mind, this is gonna get a full three out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, uh, and that's gonna take you basically all day, give or take, depending on how fast you like to work. Uh, they can be done on jack stands. I would not recommend that. Certainly putting your car on a lift will make life a heck of a lot easier for you at the end of the day. But regardless, like I said earlier, just leave yourself a solid day, maybe even two if this is your first time attempting this, and you should be good to go. But wrapping this one up, guys, again, if you are looking for a quality set of catted long tube headers at a relatively affordable price for your Challenger, be sure to check out the stainless power one and seven eighths inch options right here at AmericanMuscle.com.